newsroom with the very latest. Talia. Yeah, Erica, good evening. I'm still tracking these possible drones. And we do want to start with breaking news, the escalating tensions in the Middle East as the U.S. confirms Israel striking back at Iran after last weekend's attack. Missiles launching into Iran just hours ago. And you're seeing a live picture right now. This is of Israel officials warning some people there that some sort of aircraft could be heading towards them. Fox One's Talia Cunningham is in the newsroom with the very latest. Talia. Yeah, Erica, good evening. I'm still tracking this possible drone activity at the border in northern Israel tonight. So at 9 o'clock, I told you about an aircraft that was approaching the border and those red alerts that were being sent out to cell phones. Although it's not uncommon, it's something that we are keeping a close eye on here at Fox 31, and that's because Iran has said that if Israel does retaliate, their response will be, quote, immediate and harsh. So this is reportedly a retaliatory attack from this weekend. So on Sunday, we know Iran fired off a historic attack against Israel, launching 300 drones and missiles. A military spokesperson said that 99% of those attacks were intercepted. But since then, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to respond ignoring calls for restraint from close allies, including the U.S. This all comes at a time when tensions in the Middle East are quickly escalating and have been since the war between Israel and Hamas started in October of last year. Fox News correspondent Trey Ginks following this closely and is on the ground in Tel Aviv right now tracking flight diversions. But we are following and tracking civilian flights toward Iran and can confirm that some civilian airliners actually turned back from the Gulf. They were headed toward mm -hmm. the Iranian capital of Tehran and made a U-turn amid these reports of Israeli strikes in Iranian territory. Yeah, our thanks to Trey there on the ground in Tel Aviv again. And just moments ago, the Iranian media reporting that there was actually no missile attack downplaying these explosions. They say it was their air defense that activated and created these blasts. However, Iranians on the ground there are also reporting that the blast destroyed at least one site there. So there's a lot of information here. We have not yet heard anything from Israeli officials themselves or President Joe Biden. Of course, this is something we will continue to follow right here on Fox 31.